Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to get a free web hosting with meetpage.cc. Okay, first you need to head to meetpage.cc website and select uh, whatever category of your if you're going to use for personal or business or hobby or form. Uh, I don't think that you're allowed to use adults. If you use you'll basically get banned. Uh, these are just basically categories to let the people running the server know what you're using it for. But mostly I'll go with uh, just personal because it's just free web hosting. You're not going to run a business out of free web hosting, okay? This is just for hobby and, and you know, play. consider this one is like a playground, okay? I'm going to just use it for personal and then you can use either English or non English, it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, I'm going to just use English. Or username uh, just use any username uh, it doesn't matter your name is okay it's gonna be something like uh, my site dot me page dot cc this is the link but this link is not gonna work it has to be asked for it but but don't worry you'll, you'll be able to run a website as soon as you create an account but not on this link okay I'm gonna use it P my PHP playground or something. I'm gonna just call it playground. Okay. Something like this. And then I'm gonna use a password. It doesn't matter what password you use. I'm gonna use and this is the security code. Basically you just you need to enter that. It's gonna E six eight this is eight. Okay. So, and then type your email address. I'm not going to show you my email address, but I'll just use the magic of uh, the editor to move to the next place. Okay. Okay. When you click the link that was sent to you, you will see the account is being created. Uh, and after the account is created you will see something like this okay uh, and this is basically your account has been created successfully okay when when your account is created you can just log into cpanel it is just you either click on this link or just go back to to the website like uh, me page go back here you will, will be able to, to see this sign in button and click on it and then here basically you can type in your uh, your username and then of course your password okay uh, whatever password you use then click sign in or login and then here you will be asked if uh, if you want to approve for them to spam your email I don't don't approve it I say I disapprove so they don't spam your your email okay just do this disapprove okay and now when you log into cPanel uh, as I mentioned earlier you will not be able to to visit your website this one right here you will not be able to to do that so it will take you to a page that it doesn't exist uh, it's, but not to worry that's not the problem what you need to do you need to go here search subdomain subdomain okay let me just uh, just I will talk about this later uh, here you can see you can add subdomain but don't select this one select any other one here uh, I will probably go with maybe uh, something is great but bear in mind a lot of people sign up for this account so it's, if you choose like popular words you're not going to be able to get so we just if something is great blue sky is great how about that blue sky someone probably has to come up with this yeah they did okay so blue sky is great uh, uh, and what you do you can actually now visit this uh, website you can just go and you'll see there's nothing here ok 
okay so what you need to do to start like learning php or something just go go back to the home page of your control panel just go to file manager and choose go to hgdocs look it'll be this hgdocs for your main website that you created but it's not gonna work unless you contact them because, because basically it's a secure uh i will i will make this one work uh but but not now okay i will show you in later video how to make it work how to make this main but here's the subdomain that we created it's called blue sky is great that's our hg you can, can go to hg docs and here basically you can you can upload your website or just create a file for example we can create uh, here this plus sign you can add new file or folder i'm going to just add an index index that's php so you can write php script in it okay so here you can type like a php tag you can just make like a for loop or something so you will know the uh let me just put like a variable here called like var or just make something like name equal to right let me make it capitalized righteous culture righteous culture make sure you put a semicolon so just make a for loop here to loop it like 10 times or something like that then I do i equal to zero this is just a uh, c or c plus plus syntax it's just like php same thing i is less than let's see 10. should be less than 10 and then we can see we can increment i each time by one okay we can do i plus plus then here we can uh, we can echo or print can either use echo or just use print it's a matter there is a slight difference between them but you can i think use parentheses in the new in the new version um it's, we can see if it's work or not what we need to do we can do i here we're gonna equal i gonna be the number like starting from zero to nine which is like 10 total okay so we can use i and then we can uh, concatenate it with uh, with if you use double double quotes you can actually use them both inside without have to concatenate okay uh, if you want to concatenate variables in php you need that but if you want just to echo it with variables and and string you can use double quote like you see like and then here you can use just name and then you can even add some random thing like uh, like uh, righteous culture is, is a youtuber something like that and then just use semicolon here to end we just close this uh, tags also uh, see here you can actually add like a html tag like a break line so you can break between each one and then here we can use even that's what i really like about double quote you see you have like variables and strings all together and php will actually know which one is which and treat it the way uh, it should be okay as you can see here you see this is the i and of course the break line and then you can see all right 